We have another example on the board. We have to find total admittance. Please notice that we have given total impedance. So, in order to find Y total, I'm supposed to find the reciprocal of Z total. So, F1 over Z total is equal to Y total. So, F1 over 5 kilo ohms, an angle of 60 degrees, is equal 200 microsiemens, an angle of negative 60 degrees. This is my total admittance. Next, I have to find the conductance and inductive susceptance. In order to get these two values, I have to convert the total admittance right, from polar form to rectangular form. Okay, so my y total after conversion is equal to 100 microsiemens minus j 173.2 microsiemens. Let me repeat myself one more time. I convert the polar form to rectangular form, where the real part of my answer is my conductance. And the imaginary part of my y total is the inductive susceptance, BL. So I got the answers y total G BL. Next I suppose to find I total. In order to find I total I'm going to use Ohm's law. I total is equal voltage source over Z total. Please notice that voltage source is given is RMS value 50 volts and Z total is given. So it's very easy to find I total. Voltage source is equal 50 volts and Z total is equal 5 kilo ohms an angle of 60 degrees. So we have I total equal to 10 milliamps, an angle of negative 60 degrees. This is my total current in the circuit. Next, I'm supposed to find the current which goes through the resistor. Okay? So, please notice that we have parallel circuit. You have to keep in mind that voltage in parallel circuit is the same across every single component. So I'm supposed to write that voltage source is equal to VR and this is also equal to VL. And all of them are equal to 50 volts, of course RMS. So, we have IR equals voltage over resistor divided by resistance. But someone is going to say, hmm, we do not have resistance. Resistance is not given. So, basically there is no problem with it. Take a look what we can do. We can rewrite this formula as Vr over 1 times 1 over R. It's the same thing, right? Now, please notice that 1 over R is nothing else, just conductance. G is equal to 1 over R. So instead of 1 over R, I'm going to write G. So you're supposed to write VR times G is going to give me the current which will go through the resistor. So VR is equal 50 volts times G. And we found that G the conductance is equal to 100 micro siemens. And this is equal 5 milliamps. Okay, so this is, this is the current which will go through the resistor. Next, we're supposed to find the 
inductance. In order to find inductance, I'm supposed to remember the formula which says that x of l is equal to pi fl. Let me remind you that we are looking for the inductance, right, which is connected in parallel circuit, okay? So this is the section of the problem which talk about the parallel circuit. So, in order to find L, I suppose to simply solve this formula for L. In other words, I have to divide both sides of this formula by 2 pi f. 2 pi f. This is equal 2 pi f and 2 pi f will cancel out. L equals x of L over 2 pi f. Next, someone is going to say, hmm, but we do not have x of L. But you're supposed to remember that x of L, right, is equal nothing else, just 1 over BL. Okay, so I have 2 pi f, right? So, in other words, this is equal 1 over BL times, right? You have to find the reciprocal also of the denominator. Okay, let me just do step by step because some students have difficulties with, with algebra. So, if 1 over 2 pi f. So, everything is equal. 1 divided by 2 pi f times BL. Everything is equal. 1 divided by open parenthesis, 2 pi times f, which is equal 10 to the 6 over pi, times BL, which is equal 173.2 microsiemens. 173.2 microsiemens. Pi and pi will cancel out. Plugging these values into the Calculator is supposed to obtain the value 2.88 milli hendris. Okay, so this is the inductance in the parallel circuit. Next, we're supposed to find the true power. The formula for true power says P is equal IR to the second power times resistance. Please notice that we found the current which goes through the resistor, but we don't have resistance. But don't forget that resistance is nothing else, just the reciprocal of conductance. So I can rewrite this formula as I R to the second power times 1 over G. Right? So this is equal I R we found is 5 milliamps to the second power times 1 over G and G is equal 100 microsiemens. Close parenthesis equals 250 milliwatts. And this is the true power in my parallel circuit. Next, we have to find the series equivalent circuit. In order to find the series equivalent circuit, you're supposed to copy down the total impedance. So, if Z total is equal 5 kilo ohms, remember this is given, an angle of 60 degrees. In order to find the components of the series equivalent circuit you're supposed to convert polar form to the rectangular form. And you're supposed to obtain 2.5 kilo ohms plus J 4.33 kilo ohms. The real part of my answer 
is representing the resistance RS. And the imaginary part is my X of L S. Okay, so I found RS and X of L S. Next, I have to find the inductance in my series equivalent circuit. So, in order to do so, I'm going to use the formula for the inductive reactance. X of L is equal to pi F L. But because I'm looking for the LS, I'm going to use X of L S. In order to do so, I'm supposed to solve this formula for LS. Divide both sides of this formula by 2 pi F. So 2 pi F and 2 pi F will cancel out. And I will obtain LS equals X of LS over 2 pi F. So this is equal, X of LS is equal 4.33 kilo ohms divided by 2 pi times 10 to the 6 over pi. Hertz, of course. Pi and pi will cancel out. And answer is 2.16 milli Henry's. Next, we can redraw the circuit simply by drawing the series equivalent one. Okay, so I have voltage source, I have resistor, and I have inductor where voltage source has value of 50 volts, R is equal 2.5 kilo ohms, and the inductance L S is equal 2.16 milli Henry's. Okay, so now the problem is solved.